Hey guys, today I'm in West LA, right on Melrose, right across the from the Improv, and we're at the Red O Restaurant, a real famous restaurant out here on the west side. Standing next to me is Chef Anthony. Hey, Chef. Hey, how you doing? So today, Anthony's helping us out. We're filming cooking segments here. We just finished doing this dish here. You want to explain to viewers what this is? Definitely. This is a, a grade uh, one ahi tuna. Um, we did with a uh, lime garlic dressing with Napa cabbage, um, pickled onions, pickled habanero, a slice of avocado, a chili aioli on top, and finished off with a cilantro spray. And it's really delicious. There were five of them earlier. Now there's only one. And as soon as we're done filming this segment, there won't be one. But uh, Chef, I want you to let our viewers know a little bit about the restaurant and um, some tips that you might have for cooking fish. So first of all, the restaurant's right here, west side, very ritzy part of town. I mean, I see all the designer stores across the street. Yeah, um, that's true. But I also want people to know they could come here. I mean, um, food is about uh, enjoying time with friends, uh, obviously drinking yeah. and, and enjoying great food. And that's what we're definitely about. We, we are offering uh, prime steaks and seafoods here. Um, it is right across the street from the Improv, like you said. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it's a dinner and a show if you'd like as well. Mm -hmm. um, but the food here, guys, it's phenomenal. It's definitely made with passion. Uh, we definitely love what we put out. There's also other locations as well, one in Santa Monica and one in Newport Beach, uh, Red O Restaurant. Uh, we were backed as well by uh, Rick Bayless and uh, supporting that with our menu changes and development. Um, so just uh, definitely come check us out. Uh, um, service definitely will be great. Happy hour is always awesome. Um, come have a drink with some friends and enjoy some good food. It's a beautiful location, and if you live out here on the west side or work in Hollywood, I could see stopping by here. But for that special occasion, or I guess it doesn't have to be a special occasion, just for a good meal. This is a beautiful room. This is a bar area here, but the rest of the room is just really gorgeous. And it, they even have outside dining, too, right on Melrose, so that's pretty cool. Hey, Chef, um, we were talking in the kitchen when we were doing the segments about all the different ways people mess up cooking fish and seafood. What are some of the things that you see that we could tell our viewers to avoid and make sure they make a good dish at home? Okay, well, definitely. I mean, no matter what you're using, I mean, if you're cooking fish, uh, I think one of the key things is make sure what you're working with is hot. Whether it's a saute pan, a grill, I mean, you need to start off with a, a hot surface in order for the item not to stick. I think that's the main, main problem when people talk about grilling seafood. They're always scared because the moment they go to touch it, it just falls apart on them. I, I think uh, if they would just take the time with seafood and, and let it cook, let it get the color that it's meant to get, you wouldn't have that issue. Um, as well as, uh, I mean, um, the temperature of fish as well is a big thing. Uh, I know we talk a lot about steaks, meat and rare. I mean, no one wants a dry steak. I mean, people need to start seeing seafood that way as well. I mean, I always like to cook our seafood here at the restaurant to a medium consistency, just so when it goes to the table, it's not dry and, and falling apart. And Chef, one of the things you pointed out in the kitchen is that people forget that once the fish comes off the flame, it's still cooking. Definitely, there's definitely residual heat coming with uh, the fish that you're working with. So pulling it off a little bit early is not a bad thing because it's gonna continue cooking and uh, ultimately nobody wants a dry piece of fish. So yeah. well, that's a great tip. Thanks a lot, no Chef. No worries. Thank you guys Remember, for coming down. It's the Red O Restaurant on Melrose, right here in West LA, right across the street from the Improv. Great location to come by and like Chef said, dinner and a show and all the other theaters and all that other stuff is right up the street here and not too far away. So this is a big entertainment area right here. That's pretty cool. Uh, how can people find you, Chef? Uh, definitely, we do have an Instagram. We're on Facebook. Uh, but I mean, just Google search Red O Restaurant. You'll be able to find us. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff there. Uh, yeah, definitely. Come check us out. All right, thanks again, man. All right, thank you, guys. All right, and if you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, don't forget to subscribe right here. Get all our YouTube uh, little video clips and, and stuff like this. So thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you again really soon.